Okay, well, hi, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. It's really good to see you. Uh, I'd like to welcome Rinpoche and yourselves here on, at the Buddhist Society. It's on the occasion of, it's on the occasion of the birthday of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, who is also patron of the Society. So a wonderful and auspicious occasion to have Rinpoche here. It's the first time Rinpoche has been here since 2019. We very much missed during the pandemic and, and <laughs> very pleased to see you back. Yeah, you. But I think without more ado, because it's quite a short talk, I'd like to hand over to Joy, who will introduce Rinpoche formally, and then we can listen to his teaching. Thank you very much indeed. My script. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming, and thank you, Odin, for providing the space, and to Kim and Viva for doing the door. Thank you very much, and thank you, Rupesha, to travel all the way from India here, and thank you to me for bringing you. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Joy. It's really good to see everybody here. Many familiar faces I can see, but there are some new people, so I'd just like to do a brief introduction to Rupesha. Chamcho Rinpoche is the third in line of recognised reincarnations in the Nyingma lineage and tradition, which is the oldest school in Tibetan Buddhism. He first took his seat in his monastery at the age of 14 and studied at Mado Tashi Traling Monastery, Patok Monastery and Narunga, completing his training and studies under some of the most eminent masters of the 20th century. He has been conferred the title of Kempo twice, which is the equivalent of a Doctor of Buddhist Philosophy. <coughs> After Rinpoche completed his formal training, he opened a monastic college at the seat of learning for the many monks under his care and spent many years there training and teaching his monks. He is a well-known master, scholar and practitioner with profound knowledge of the Buddhist teachings of Sutra, Tantra and Sotchen and has many Tibetan, Indian and international students. When Rinpoche is not travelling the world, he resides in Dharamsala in the Himalaya in India, where he founded the Bodhicitta Centre, which attracts thousands of students who come from all across the globe to learn Dharma, and he compassionately guides them towards inner peace and happiness. So everybody can have the opportunity to sit in Rinpoche's splendour and listen to these profound teachings. Rinpoche always teaches on donation. But well, that means we do depend on these donations to help support the tour, including living and travel expenses, and to return again next year. So please be as generous as you possibly can. I hope you enjoy and get benefit from these precious teachings you're about to receive. And if you would like further information about Rinpoche, his travels, and the rest of the UK tour, please check his website. Tonight, Rinpoche is going to teach on compassion and loving kindness are the roots of peace and happiness. Also, at the end of the month, when we share hosting a four-day retreat in Northamptonshire, we have three spaces left. Thank you. Good evening. So first I'm going to some little bit short prayer before going to starting. Chapsa, 
Dagi anjen Ramsey on 
ਜੇ ਬਾਇਆਂ ਸਾਣ ਜੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਅਮੀਦੇ Okay, so you can have the maybe four miserable bodhicitta prayers with you. If you like, we can pray on English three times only, just generating a mantra of enlightenment, the bodhicitta. May all beings enjoy happiness and the causes of happiness. May all beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all beings never be apart from the supreme bliss which is free of all suffering. May all beings live in great equanimity free from the attachment and aversion that keep some close and other distant. May all beings enjoy happiness and the causes of happiness. May all beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all beings never be apart from the supreme bliss which is free of all suffering. May all beings live in great equanimity, free from the attachment and aversion that keep some close and other distant. May all beings enjoy happiness and the causes of happiness. May all beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all beings never be apart from the supreme bliss which is free of all suffering. May all beings live in great equanimity, free from the attachment and aversion that keep some close and the other distant. Okay, so this evening we are going to talk about the compassion and the loving kindness is uh, uh, are the, the root of uh, peace and happiness that is all the title uh, so i think this uh, subject is a very important uh, to know for everybody whether uh, 
you are traditional followers or non-traditional followers, no matter you are religious or non-religious. Of course, more than no matter you are Buddhist or non-Buddhist traditionalists, you know. Uh, so because everybody want to be happy, enjoy, uh, everyone want to be freedom from sufferings and unpleasant uh, feelings and obstacles so on. There's no exception, I think, as everyone same the wish. So in this case, today we're going to let me talk about uh, the compassion and loving kindness. Uh, so I believe most of you already know how important the compassion and loving kindness. Uh, but still, maybe we make a little bit uh, uh, more clear uh, and to remind, you know, for everyone how important, especially according to the Buddhist philosophy, point of view of the compassion love. Uh, so in this case, uh, 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 this prayer we just before we did prayer, the generation Bodhicitta. This generation Bodhicitta also uh, uh, one specific uh, how we cultivating on compassion and love uh, equally for everyone. So this we usually say for immeasurable. Bodhicitta prayers, or we can say four infinite Bodhicitta. Uh, these four, one words, one sent, the, the, with four lines. So the, each this one is the explaining the each one of these four immeasurable Bodhicitta. You see in the first line we say, may all beings enjoy happiness in the causes of happiness, that means is the infinite uh, of uh, uh, the uh, loving kindness. And then on the second line, the prayer, may all beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. This is particular the bond uh, aspect of the compassion, the infinite of compassion. And then the Third line, the prayer, may all beings never be apart from the supreme bliss, which is free of all suffering. That is, we said, the infinite of uh, um, joy or rejoice. And then the last, the fourth line, on there we see, may all being, uh, beings live in the great equanimity free from the attachment and the versions that kept some close and the other distant. This is, we said, the infinite of great equanimity, bodhicitta. So this four is four infinite bodhicitta. So uh, why we say it's infinite or immeasurable because generally, as I mentioned to you, everyone, we can have the seed of compassion and loving kindness from the deep of our heart. Even uh, the animals, most they can have natural compassion, natural love, uh, but not that much strong uh, of human compassion and loving kindness is more vast, more extensive. Uh, but still is uh, very limited because we can love to our people, our friend, our children, uh, or the, uh, the relations, uh, beings or peoples, but still not very uh, strong. Uh, that's why we say my love compassion to my people, but we can say may all beings. But here, this prayer, we can say may all beings. That means it's very, you know, uh, vast uh, and extensive, this kind of the motivation, uh, without any one exceptions, even though it's non-human beings, including this generation Bodhicitta. 
compassion and loving kindness and motivation. So, uh, the reason because uh, uh, here today our topic, the compassion, the loving kindness. So, in this way, what is the difference between the compassion and the love? Uh, so compassion, actually, when you uh, knew someone is uh, going the problem, uh, physically, like sick, ill, uh, mentally, uh, depression, or sadness, or despondentness, month, or so many different kinds of the mental the problems we know. So in that moment, you feel is a, you know as a very sad, uh, very despondentness, regrets, your feeling, you very strong wish, as a free as soon as possible from this kind of the sufferings, and the causes of this kind of sufferings. If you deeply can arising from your heart, that is the point aspect of compassion. So the compassion is mainly, is the main point is when you, we want to be freedom from any different kind of the suffering and the causes of suffering with anybody without any exception. So that generally we say that's the point as the definition of compassion. Uh, but here, according to the Buddhist philosophy point of the compassion, and briefly, we can division into this uh, three uh, different um, the categories, uh, three different level of the compassion. Uh, so the three, the first one, uh, the compassion uh, dissolving uh, sentient beings. That's the first one. The second one, compassion dissolving uh, phenomena or dharma, we can say. And the third aspect of the compassion, uh, we thought uh, dissolving, uh, means is a non-conceptuality compassion. So the first one is a just general Everybody, we can e easy cultivate compassion of uh, we said the dissolving the compassion dissolving of the dissolving of a sentient being. That means is uh, the suffering and briefly we can divide into these three different kind of categories, which is the suffering of suffering. That's one, and the second is the suffering of uh, change. And the third suffering is this all pervasive of suffering, we say. So the first one, the suffering of suffering, uh, very easily can recognize. Uh, because the definition of the suffering of suffering means is when arresting, as a naturally, we can feel a suffering. So therefore, as long as remaining continuously, and still we can feel directly suffering. And then when we'll be ceasing, stopping the continuity of the suffering of suffering, and then also we can recognize, have feel comfortable enjoyment when ceasing of this suffering of suffering. That's why even animals, they can recognize, of course, human being easy to recognize, but even animals, they can recognize the suffering of suffering. So therefore, is uh, when we feel yourself and others, any one of others, with this suffering of suffering, if you feel very uncomfortable, uh, if you very wish deeply from your heart as soon as possible, could be can free from this suffering, of the suffering. Uh, that is the aspect compassion. So this compassion is depend very much your motivation of uh, we say the empathy or sympathy. 
something because you can could experiencing the generality aspect of the sufferings with anybody. Nobody want to be this suffering. Uh, no one say, you know, it's the um, uh, no problem with this suffering. Everybody, if as soon possible, they want to be freedom from the suffering, but not easy to free from the suffering when already is fully repents. The experiencings are resting there because the suffering also the experiencings of the suffering also with the cause and conditions. Uh, the experiencing the result of suffering could cannot experiencing be causelessly, be automatically is not possible. So therefore we also should to know what is the actual cause and the condition of such different kind of suffering. And briefly we can say according to the Buddhist point of view, there's two uh, conditions or two two different things. One is the previous projection uh, karma and one is in the present of the condition uh, unfavorable the condition when they completed these two the projection of previous karma uh, or the cause and the present of the unfavorable conditions and then must be experiencing the fully repentance of the result of the suffering. Uh, so in this case, the compassion, uh, the first one we're talking now is the compassion of uh, observing sentient being. So, but the still is the motivation is uh, even with the compassion, but it's important, the wisdom, uh, the knowledge to understand why we are suffering, uh, why other someone are going to suffering, what is the actual cause and the conditions for this suffering, we necessary to understand. If we missing to understand the actual cause and the condition of the suffering, and then only just wish or try to avoid the suffering, but we can, could cannot easy, easily could cannot free of the suffering because the actual cause and condition is a stare completed, completely existent there and then the result cannot stop, you know. So therefore how we know uh, the actual cause and the condition of suffering, that is very much depend on your wisdom, one's own knowledge, the investigations and the analytical, the analysis, you know, the wisdom mind you need to judge to know. In this case, as according with the Buddhist philosophy, the point of the view, what is the actual cause of the suffering? Various different kind of cause conditions, but in briefly, we can say that negative emotion and negative action, these two is direct cause and direct conditions for coming futures of the sufferings and the present moment experiencing of suffering. So therefore is uh, someone if you want to be freedom from suffering yourself and you want to be benefit to other free from the suffering and then we must be try to leading them or yourself and act in the of virtuous uh, actions and you should be cultivate on uh, motivation on the positive emotion because if your motivation is as positive uh, pure perception and then your action of from body speech and mind or the heart these three actions from the three doors of your body speech your heart become also positive if in case, if mentally your motivation is if uh, cultivating on the of a negative uh, motivation, uh, and then 
your action also is physically and verbally and mentally become also as a negative. So that's why we say if you can cultivate a mind of positive emotion and this will be bring positive ground, positive path and the result also positive. Uh, if you, our motivation or our mind mentally is uh, uh, with the faults of the negative emotion, but this performing the action also is negative physically, uh, verbally, and mentally. If unfortunately, if cultivating on the negative action, and then that could be can uh, the cause, direct cause, and the conditions of the unpleasant experiencings of the suffering. So therefore, anyway, someone, if you let a bit deeper to understand this kind of the cause and condition, the cause and the effect, that means is your compassion not only alone with the motivation, but as a wisdom, the knowledge together. And then this compassion is very, very useful, very, very helpful. Otherwise, if lacking the wisdom and the only pure motivation is beautiful, uh, but it's not so much uh, helpful because many times we could be can mistake, misunderstanding uh, how to do benefit yourself, how to do benefit others. We don't know exactly because lack the knowledge, if we lack the wisdom. Uh, so, but even if could we can have wisdom, uh, but if we lack the pure motivation, still it doesn't work. You know, it's not that much helpful to each other. So therefore, if uh, your mind, if you can cultivate it with the union, both of compassion and wisdom, and then that is a perfect cause and condition for bring the mental peace and the mental of the experiencing the happiness, enjoyment. So in this case, just directly, uh, when you see someone is there happened a problem and that times deeply arresting your compassion from your heart, not only but on top you want a strong wish to be benefit to them, you know by your wisdom mind what you should to do, what you should not to do. So this kind is the first one, the compassion. We just mentioned you the three different kind of compassion. The first one is the compassion dissolving uh, sentient beings. We can say general sentient beings. Even we believe sentient beings exist and uh, truly and inherently. Even we believe is the suffering is exist and inherently. Uh, 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 something as the substantially. Even if you believe is your compassion and your loving kindness is exist and inherently or substantially. Actually, that's not true. In fact, but rather you understand the true nature or not, but still that is a very uh, pure motivation, is very important. Uh, so that's the compassion. So this is the first one we say, compassion of the, uh, the dissolving of sentient being. That's one. So this first one, this kind of aspect of compassion, easy can understand for everybody from sense very ordinary uh, practitioners, and up to of external practitioners, both they can practice this kind of the the uh, the compassion, the first one. And, and then, who is the object of the compassion and loving kindness? According to the, of this first one, compassion, that is ordinary beings. All the sense of, of the bottom of a hell realm beings, unfortunate three low realm beings, up to of the upper fortune, like God realm beings, all is including the object of uh, uh, the compassion and loving kindness without any exception. So that is, we can say, infinite compassion. Uh, because without any exception, uh, directly or indirectly, you can cultivate your mind on of this compassion and love for everybody. But still, that is not very easy. Uh, so therefore, 
according to the Buddhist, uh, the Mahayana traditions, we say you first must be to recognize all sentient beings, our mother, we can say. So this means is because we are not only born one time in this earth. We are born in this samsara since from beginningless, numberless times, again and again and again, birth after of death and again born after of death and again born after of birth. So and so on, hundred thousand million and countless times. So therefore is each time we can say is always the relation connections between one or same parents. Almost 99% each lifetime we have different relations between child, parents and child relationship, not same parents always. This life, our parents could, cannot be just immediate next parents. And the next parents is not this life as our parents. So like this way, the circulation we born in samsara countless times. So we are already connected, related to each sentient beings, you know, so a hundred times more than between parents and children relationships. So if you agree the reincarnation, and then not very difficult, not very complicated to understand all sentient beings, our mother means, you know. If you agree, all sentient beings could be can already connected mother and child relationship or brother certain relationship or friend or partners or so on. And then easy we can, uh, you know, uh, uh, thinking about the love and compassion more easy than normal because first we understand as everyone is close for us no exception there any uh, one so everyone is like same family like same uh, parents you know same friends same borders that are like so therefore it's it's more easy but still we need to remember their kindness because each beings are already we have connection between mother and child, ch child children relationship or border sister and then we know each other how kindness so we need to remember their kindness if you remember their kindness and then not enough just only remember, then we need to train your mind to start to repay them. You know, you need to cultivate your motivation on repaying them their kindness because was they are very kindness for us. So now today we are lucky. We are really fortunately born in this human realm. And not only we just be born in this human realm, but lucky we are as the freedom in the moment. What you want to do, what you should not want to do, is that your choice. Not only, but especially is like us. We have more lucky because we met such of uh, uh, the precious teachings, and we met you know as the precious teachers, or we have opportunity chance to learning studying about of such of the like compassion loving kindness natural law of course and the effect or so on so therefore so many we are fortunate you know as good qualities we have the fortune than other beings in this sixth realm so therefore that meant is the opportunity we need to start you now as repaying them their kindness because so many other beings have no chance opportunity like that what we can have today, our qualities. Even though in this human realm, born in the same way, but not everyone same quality. You see, on this world, uh, we have today maybe is there seven or eight the billions of the beings, the numbers, sending beings. But is uh, how many people can have easy arresting compassion, love, easy to learning, studying of compassion, love, easy to training your mind with compassion, love, or so on. It's not so many, you know. So in this case, is we are lucky and fortunate that we are have, having the fortunate, the chance, opportunity to repay them their kindness. So that's the, the third stage. After you recognize, send them beings are very close friends or parents like. And then secondly, we need to remember their kindness. Thirdly, we need to start repaying them their kindness. But know how we could can pay them their kindness. That is not easy because one step by one step is one person. 
other means is countless beings and numberless beings. So it's, we have no power to buy them, their kindness, you know. But mentally, you can. Because if you can generate your compassion love, if you can cultivate your motivation on the very equally, the compassion love, mentally the energy, if you can share to all sentient beings, if you could can dedicate your compassion, your love, your pure motivation with the empathy and the sympathy mind to equally all sentient beings, just that is, and directly you could can do benefit other sentient beings. But that means is if you could can and directly do to do benefit other sentient beings, but directly, directly you could can do benefit yourself. Directly. Actually benefit to other means is doesn't mean is you have no any chance to benefit yourself. Very much if you can dedicate prayer, cultivating mind of enlightenment, compassion, love to other. That means is directly you could cannot so much benefit other sentient beings, but and directly you could can do benefit other sentient beings. But directly you could can do benefit yourself. What means? Because you feel more comfortable. You feel is more your uh, uh, what's experiencing is more peace, peaceful feeling, more enjoyment feeling. You having experiencing chance of more happiness feeling. That when you have this motivation arresting your heart and that day you have more you know the peace you know you you mentally and that net you have more easy falling is the very comfortable sleeping you know so on that day your even the food is the meals more delicious that day or so on that moment is around your people as you see is more you know as a how say um, uh, um, uh, pleasant for you around for you because your heart is pure your your mind is motiv motivation is a compassion and love therefore is the round people uh, and the around of your the people also as you can see is more comfortable for you so that means directly you found the root of happiness enjoyment and the peace from the compassion and loving kindness directly but know the opposite we also important we need to understand because when unfortunately, if arresting very strong jealousy, anger, uh, something is the negative emotion, disturbing emotion, disturb your heart, and then if directly we harm it to other uh, peoples, but looks like we harm it to others, but indirectly harm you yourself. What it means is because people understand, oh, he or she is harming to this or that person. They are also angry with you, but at the same time, moments is you feel also very uncomfortable. It's a very, it's, you know, an unrelaxation, unrestness feeling. So therefore, that whole day you have no peace. Your mental is, you know, the emotion is very disrupted. And that night you also is very, not very well, you sleep that night, you know. Even that day is your meal is not your food not that much delicious you cannot taste it even delicious food but not delicious anymore for you because our heart or mind is disrupted by the disturbing of emotion of a negative so therefore is we can say negative is always is is the negative because is bring the fully repent result is directly or indirect to harming each others so positive is always as positive because directly or indirectly will be bring happiness, enjoyment for you and for others. So therefore it's uh, very important as much we can cultivating on the compassion and love. So anyway, that's the first one, compassion. And the second aspect of the compassion is that we said the compassion observing uh, phenomena. So observing phenomena means is not only just when you experiencing, when you understand the suffering of suffering directly uh, of the someone, but you understand suffering is impermanence, is changeable, and you understand that this person who are suffer or that is changeable, impermanence. So, but unfortunately, 
those beings are, have no power, no wisdom to understand the impermanence. They believe very much existent and inherently himself or herself. They believe very much this suffering is existent substantially, permanently. So therefore, the moment he or her feeling is very strong, the suffering, the experiencing, because everything is true. So therefore, but you, when you generating, cultivating mind of this compassion and love, you understand sentient beings impermanence. The suffering is impermanence. You know, uh, so therefore, it's a strong feeling. You very much want to lead them to understand that is impermanent. You want to teach them is, is the self is selflessness, like for example, you know. So therefore, is they can less suffering and uh, you know um, more easy to uh, face, more easy to patience about such of suffering if they understand the impermanence. But unfortunately, it's ordinary people have no idea thinking. So therefore, if you can generate your compassion, love to understand the impermanence of the uh, sentient beings, the impermanence of the suffering of sentient, sentient beings, and then if you cultivate it on the compassion love, this kind is we say aspect of the compassion absorbing to the of phenomena or dharma we can say. And then third one, the last one, aspect of this uh, compassion and loving kindness, we can say, we thought of absorbing the compassion we thought of observing or we thought of uh, um, was a, a grasping or we thought of uh, uh, maybe uh, um, uh, the an un upper hand hand or something like that that means is actually according to the buddhist the, of the philosophy points the nature of sentient being empty actually emptiness we say Sentient beings' nature is emptiness. There's no self. Nature is selflessness, unborn. But unfortunately, we ordinary beings are very much we apprehending to self is existent inherently. So therefore, always is I, me is the number one, the first when one important things. So therefore, I don't want suffering. I want to be happy. I want that and this, the form, sound, smell, taste, contact, tactile sensation, so on, and such pleasures for me. I don't want such various different kind of obstacles, unpleasant, the non attractive the object, or so on, so on. This not for me. You know, always that means the self cherishing, uh, the, um, uh, the, sep, uh, the ego clinging, uh, self grasping. Uh, so this self-grasping, the self-attachment is actually the direct root of the suffering, the direct root of unpleasant feeling, unfortunately, actually. So this sense we born in this samsara, our nature is like, how says, the innate self-grasping. We can say uh, the co-emergent self-grasping or co-emergent Sep cherishing. So these kind of sep cherishings, even though small insect, small animals, they can have any animals, they can have naturally this co-emergent, the sep grasping and co-emergent of the sep cherishing. So this is ordinary, the, the, uh, the misconception, the misunderstanding perception is the root of the suffering. So therefore, if you use something, if you are scholar and learned person, and then if you follow like philosophy school like Buddhist like this emptiness teaching, Madhyamika teaching, or uh, something is you understand the phenomena are originated by the interdependently. So therefore is the nature is as unborn, emptiness, as appearances according to conventionally like illusion, like uh, the, uh, the, the miracle, the, the magician like something like dream like appearances it's like illusion but unfortunately is a ordinary beings haven't yet recognized as a phenomenon nature is unborn emptiness appearances originated by interdependently therefore appearances like illusion but they have no this idea so therefore they have suffering very much so example in the dream 
when you have good dream, you will have very feeling comfortable, enjoy, happy, and desire attachment about this. When we having very unpleasant the, the uh, dreaming and the very suffering, something is the negative, and then you feeling also very sadness and very uncomfortable, very disappointedness, very upset with this of dream. Even there's no make sense, good dream or bad dream, but both are unborn actually, empty. And just erasing is like illusion. But interdependently, no make sense. But still, as long as we have these two uh, dualistic, the grasping mind, the self grasping is there, and then it's very much it's a difference. Good dream, you have happy and joy. Bad dream is bring you a very suffering, unpleasant feeling. This we know very clearly. So similarly, like today, actually everything these phenomena appearances for us is originated badly interdependently. So that means it is not existent independently. That is like illusion, totally like magic, magic illusion. Uh, so, but we are operating to existent inherently. So therefore, we have lots of different kind of emotions and disturbing emotion comes between of pleasant and pleasant. If pleasant attachment too much, desire too much, negative emotion of the cravings too much, you know, and then boring us, you know, it's the mental pleasures or so and so on comes us. If when they are raising of unpleasant object and then is very much worry and panic and suffering and painfulness and the, the mental depressions, very angry, upset, or jealousy. So many kind of you see that the sufferings, unpleasant feelings born of this wrong perception. So in this case, when you understand the really the true nature of this samsara, how going, nature is empty, appearance is illusion, arising by originated by interdependently, and conventionally is impermanence, is changeable, ultimately is emptiness, so something like this, when you understand, and then as a compassion, loving kindness, this kind of compassion, because born compassion from this motivation, and erasing the loving kindness born from this view, the pure view, and then is that we calling is we say the uh, the compassion without observing, uh, uh, without of the uh, distraction mind, without of uh, uh, what's a conceptuality. We say non-concept compassion. We say non-thought or non-conceptuality compassion, because according to the ultimately, there's no object of compassion, no subject of compassion, and no action itself of the compassion. According to the ultimately, we understand very clearly. But according to the conventionally, erasing the object of compassion, the subject of compassion, and the actions of the compassion as a conventionally, like illusorily, you know, like dream life. So therefore is when you understand by yourself this view born from your heart and then when you see other sending big problems, that times you feel very much more strong your compassion love because they are very poor, because they actually is in fact nature is there's no suffering anymore, is there's no true but they misunderstanding and they're falling extremes, existent, everything. Therefore, they have very strong suffering, a strong painfulness. So therefore, my wish to be understand the true nature, my wish to leading them to understand the reality, you know, as so a kind of relaxation on the, of the true nature of conventionally like illusion and ultimately like space, emptiness, like this, if they uh, are raising this kind of motivation, that is with the, say, the third one, compassion. But the last one, the third one, is not easy because need to learning, studying, practice, and meditate, and then is arresting this compassion. So, however, is this no matter what kind like the compassion, but is when you arresting is a strong wish to be freedom from the, any kind of suffering of the result and the causes and the conditions of the suffering. That is. Today we're talking about the talking uh, there's a compassion and loving kindness is as the uh, what's it the uh, the roots of peace and happiness. We that's our today the, the topic. So the, the 
then the kindness, the loving kindness is a very similar uh, the compassion. Uh, but there's a different aspect is between compassion and loving kindness. Compassion, the definition of compassion is, uh, we, as mentioned, you just are repeating one more. When you see, when you know, when you uh, hear someone is a problem, that times you very strong wish to be free from this suffering. That is the aspect of compassion. So now loving kindness. Loving kindness is when you know, when you see, when you hear, when you understand that someone going very well, happy, enjoy, and then you wish forever, you just continuously and will never separate from such of happiness and may you wish never separate such happiness and never avoid such of the causes of the happiness enjoyment. And if yet not attainment this kind of happiness enjoyment, but you very strong wish, may you wish deeply from your heart, everybody can be sooner or later one day achievement such of happiness, such of enjoyments. This kind of aspect is the love, the aspect of love or the uh, yeah, loving kindness. That's the aspect of loving kindness. Only difference the between compassion and love is it compassion is it want to wish free from suffering. That is. And the loving kindness is a wish to be happy, enjoy everybody. But point is the same because they are happy, enjoy, they have no suffering. If they are free from suffering, must be happy, enjoy. But is the aspect is different. So that's sometimes we use together say compassion and love. Sometimes just compassion we say, but it's including the point is the view is the same. So anyway, as the important things is what we want, happiness, enjoyment. What we don't want to experience is suffering. This is clear. So therefore, is it then we need to understand the other sentient beings also. Would you think they want, like you, they happiness, want to happiness, enjoyment? Yes, they are also too like us. They want to be happiness, enjoyment. And then similarly, they also want to be free from suffering, like you. Yes, hundred percent sure. Other also they want. Other beings they also want to free from suffering. So therefore, now the finally we say, okay, then everybody can have the responsibility. How say the the rights of freedom from of the sufferings, uh, and avoiding of the cause of sufferings, and everyone they have the rights of achievement of happiness enjoyment. Yes, we say, we say human rights, you know, human rights, uh, uh, the, we say human being, the human rights, freedom from suffering and the rights of human, the human rights of achievement, happiness, enjoyment. But why not sentient beings rights, you know, finally, because sentient being, each sentient being, same like us, they want happy, they don't want suffering. So therefore, each sentient being can have the sentient beings rights achievement of happiness and freedom from suffering, not only human being. So like this logic, follow this reasoning, if you can feel, oh, that's really true. That must be true. It's sure if it comes this from deeply your heart, and then we need to cultivating your motivation on this way, share your mental energy equally for all sentient beings. But directly, you, we should be start to benefit your people your member of your family, your children, your grandchildren, your parents, your grandparents, or your yeah, surround of your people, because that is the, our capacities at the moment, as a, the uh, opportunity, physically and verbally. But mentally, not only you don't say only my people, mentally may wish to all sentient beings, whenever one day comes chance, opportunity, if I can do benefit, I will, you know, never ex without any exceptions. Whenever comes chance, opportunity, if I can have power, if they need to benefit from me and I will, when comes chance, I mean, you know, that means at the moment our chance is only our people or the member of our friend, that's you have chance to benefit each others. But we never know when comes suddenly chance to benefit, that times you have no, without any exceptions, there's, even there has no exception, even enemy. We mentioned it before, because enemy can be friend, enemy can be parents, enemy, enemy can be also, as a, this, this life is enemy, but next life is, can be parents, you know. So everything's impermanence and changeable, it's equal. 
connections, the reality, uh, re relations between. That's why today this prayer also the, on the fourth, the last one, said, may all sentient beings live in the great equanimity. The reason, because free from the attachment and the versions that keep some close and the other distant. Because there's no someone only special close, no one some special very of the distant. Because everyone equally is a parent, equally like friend relationship, brother and sister alike. Even this life is not everyone same, the relations, but is a past, time and future, and it's coming the relations again. So therefore, even in the one's lifetime, last year enemy can be this year friend, you know. So this year is enemies, next year become friend. It's so many happened, right? So therefore, why we always angry to the enemy? Why we always thinking harming to enemy? And why we too much attachment to the only the close people? So therefore, we make share on energy, the mental compassion left equally for both of his, you know, see, uh, uh, close people and the far, the other people. There's no difference because it's the relations already we have connected and coming future also too. If thinking like this way and then really is a hope, we found the root of peace and the root of happiness comes to you as a sure. So that means is firstly, directly you feel comfortable, peace, happy, more enjoy, because if you can cultivate in compassion, love equally, if you become very happy, enjoy, peaceful, that means is then is the round of you with the people, your family, your partner, your children, your grandchildren, your grandparents, so on, they can also have comfortable, happy, enjoy, harmonies with you. Because you are a very kindness person, you are a very happiness person, you are enjoyment person, person, you are very peaceful, we are very positive, you know, with it, yourself. So therefore, so around your people also become positive. More, more easy, more chance of peace. Means a family peace, born from your peace. That's very clear. And then your family is become more peace, more really, uh, the harmonies, and more enjoy, and then it's your neighbor, you know. As the family, the relations, there comes also peace. And then your village become peace. And then your town peace. Then your country become peace. And then the world peace. Like this way. So therefore, we need to start from the world peace and the happiness, enjoyment of the worldly, but start from each person's, you know, from one's own heart. First, make focus on the compassion and love and equally for everyone directly start to benefit yourself and your people and directly share your energy mental energy and the potential quality compassion love equally for everybody but this logic but this reason should be to understand you know and then is we hope the world peace otherwise is because unfortunately ordinary way we thinking oh i need to protect myself i need to protect my people therefore i need to shoot them you know, something like this, the fighting, quarreling, cheers, this is totally wrong. But motivation is there thinking, okay, because I want to peace, happy, enjoy. That's why I need to protect my people, you know. But this is a big, you know, so the problem. Actually, problems, so many, they make the distance, you know, between the separate, separate you and me. It's a very separation, too much. And then fighting between even two people stay to in the same place and same house but too much self cherishing you know if they doesn't care each other they don't don't uh, they have no the love and compassion each other and then every day fighting you know quarreling even in the same family but the problem right is there's no family peace and then is there's no, no neighbor peace as they're quarreling each other fighting each other angry to each other and then the village also too and then the, the town the country and then the world you see today is so many people is the you know the fighting each other and the warning you know the war shooting so, so many problems but the main motivation they also want to be happy enjoy actually you know but the opposite the result is totally opposite if you shooting them but is that moment is comfortable for you and relax session feeling for you is your mentally peaceful for you no totally not you know even you directly we destroy other people we destroy other country other the neighbor 
but is it direct and directly you destroy yourself it's a very clear that's a very clear so therefore directly if you protect to them but and directly that is you protect yourself it's a very clear that they interdependently that means our happiness or enjoyment born from others happiness depend to the others happiness others enjoyment one's own peace is the peaceful you know it comes from depend very much the others peaceful activities so therefore is there other than neighbor or the round people around the country around family as they have no peace we cannot experiencing oneself alone the peacefully and happily enjoyment no possible even as the some countries it in several these years you see is so many their problem the war but that not only their problem themselves but we also together very uncomfortable feeling isn't it very much worry panic so much so much problem and then of course the economies so many things is there's you know changes suddenly that means the world is this earth is one family there's no different family is one family so is one family means is one member of family problem that's family's problem not only this person alone the problem right so you feel so therefore we need to start to benefit you know each other like this way especially we are the if like traditional and buddhist or some religious or like talk dharma practitioners we talking compassion love and kindness that is the seed of world peace and the world enjoyment comes but of course not easy talking is more easy but in fact is not that much easy but anyway that's the only the solution the only the way the others there's no way no possible if mistake so therefore someone may be the opposite contrary their motivation thinking or oh, that world peace is must be coming from the force from the power maybe it's you know as the economy power and the uh, the army the soldier power or the weapons power or maybe is a modern of the technology power or maybe is a, a nuclear power but no that is no possible if a nuclear power can make world peace and now must be is the world is peace because we have it says is a nuclear can destroy in more than seven times this earth we have already you know but is it that there's no peace yet you know so therefore is the ultimate peace is comes from our heart our heart heart means is the compassion and love that is so we need to start you know from our heart so this is could be can benefit and the directly in the moment yourself and your people and and directly to others so on not only in case some of you if you believe the reincarnation of course then future is the next rebirth continuously become peace happy enjoyment or not is very much depend to the in the present moment of your life is more if you cultivating on the peaceful compassion loving kindness positive activities and then next rebirth further more peace more enjoy more good life unfortunately in this life if cultivating your body mind and heart is on a very negative and directly harming in moments but not only the problem but future next rebirth further is worse and worse this is a good example at that times you are very peaceful person compassionate loving kindness person care you know carefulness person and the net your dream 80% and 90% sure you have dreaming is very also the next dream happiness dream enjoyment peaceful dream dreaming but at the day times you are very negativity something is you know is very angry jealousy or something fighting quarreling or something cheating each other so the very panics and then if you falling asleep and then that night dream also 80 90% sure is something is very unpleasant or negative so this telling us is a future what comes the experiencing depend of your the present the actions or the the the, the project so on so uh, so uh, but when and and in, okay 8:30 right okay okay so uh, so therefore is this today we're talking about the compassion the love and kindness are the uh, roots of peace and the happiness so i know is i think i guess believe you agree 
this, you know, but it's not enough only agreements, but that's a very good agreement. But now we need to training, you know, a little bit your mind more on the cultivating on the compassion and love. Uh, during the of the meditation, the sitting meditation, that time just relaxed on your comfortable way, on sofa or on seat or on the bed or wherever on the floor or just sit a day. Maybe every day is like uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 5 minutes and with a long breathing and then relaxed and the silent and the mentally just focus on this feeling, the compassion, love, may we today did mention this prayer. May all beings have happiness, but not only have happiness, but the causes of happiness very important because without cause and condition cannot bear automatically and causelessly the happiness. You can wish, but cannot. So therefore, may all beings have happiness as a result and the causes of a happiness, you know, and that's one, the compassion and the loving kindness and the may all beings free from suffering. That's the result of the suffering free from. May all beings free from suffering and the causes of the suffering, also free from the causes of suffering. Because only just may wish free from suffering, but if you have no idea to avoid the cause of suffering, and then because the cause conditions fully repents and the result also is, will be arising fully. So therefore, if you agree want to be free from the result of suffering, must be we try to avoid the actual cause and condition of the suffering. So therefore, may all beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Just mentally meditate, you know, thinking like this meaning, focus on this speech, you know, and the meaning of this speech and mentally and focus on this energy and just share. So may all beings never be a part of such of the, you know, the, of course, the ultimate happiness enjoyment, but even the temporary happiness enjoyment is still connected to the suffering of change, but still we need at the moment, you know, so wish. And finally, just relaxed on the equanimity, the last one. May all beings live in great equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. The, the mind for in the form close and between the far is there no difference. Just relaxed on there five minutes, ten minutes every day. That is the meditation, the sitting meditation we say. But not enough only just sitting meditation. Sitting meditations, ten minutes, fifteen minutes is nothing, you know. But the, the positive meditation and walking time, talking time, you know, so whenever so that time so should not forget how important to know the compassion and loving kindness just with the mindfulness, by the mindfulness and the alertness to protect, you keep this energy of your compassion and love. Whenever something, when you feel, you know, your mindfulness telling you and that time the reminding again and again the compassion and love is how important. If you remain with your mindfulness to compassion and love and then you like to speak more with your people, your friend, your children, naturally you like to speak compassion and loving kindness and peace, enjoyment, happiness, you love talk. Because usually we lot talk about it like anger, jealousy, hatred, harmful thought, attachment things, we love talk, conversation. That means is because our motivation naturally focus on this way, so therefore addressing this speech. So now if you can more thinking compassion, love, more focus on compassion and love with mindfulness and naturally you like to speak conversation with your people, your friends. That means it's naturally arresting the energy of compassion and love and the harmonies and the peace. As that means it's a studying and learning practice or training. Means is so that is the method for collection merits, that is the method for purification, that is the main method also for benefit you yourself and benefit to others and your people, your children, and sure, 100%. So therefore, and briefly, finally, we can say, according to the Buddhist of compassion and love, say, even if you could cannot do much benefit other sentient beings, at least do not harm, harming to anyone. That is very important to keep your heart, you know, the motivation, promise, 
the commitment deeply from your, your heart. Say again, even if I cannot do benefit others, but at least I will never do, no, never harm me to, to no one, you know. Very important, just motivation, you know, keep your heart, the commitment in the deep your heart. So that is the virtue, actually. That is a positive emotion. That is a bodhicitta, you know. That is a compassion. That is a love. You know, that is benefit yourself and that is benefit to others. Sure, 100 percent. So this kind is today our topic. So now we're going to a little bit to discuss about yeah, anybody. If you have any questions or whatever you like, we can let bit share each other. Yes, please. Actually, we have no way of benefiting them because their karma is coming from these two things. What it seems to me by our prayers we can do is benefit ourselves because our motivation is good. But we ordinary people, we actually have no way to benefit other people through our prayers. Yeah, that's a good question, but actually, so however, um, the projection karma and the achieving condition we mentioned to you. So the projection karma is depend individually, individually, the personal karma. That is the project, projection karma. Your karma, you cannot share me. My karma cannot share you. That means individually created karma. I will be experiencing individually uh, uh, himself or herself. That's because depend the projection karma. Now the second one, the achieving condition. Achieving conditions not of the individually, not uh, uh, the personnel alone. Achieving conditions, for example, between you and me today, here we're going, talking here this kind of compassion, love and kindness today, this Dharma Center, but this result today we speak about these kind of lectures, is coming is the, depend very much on the collective, Collective condition, collective, yeah, collective condition. Collective conditions not only from you, not only from me, but as a collectively, everybody as a gathering comes to, we have, this is a condition, the achieving condition. So therefore, as one important thing, because sometimes uh, uh, Buddhists lots talk about karma, karma we say. Karma Sanskrit language, but is in Tibetan is a le, literally karma means. And then it's English the translation is action. Karma means the action or active activity. Activity must be actions for motive, the motivation. People, the person's motivation. So is it finally, that's the karma. So everything so we say depends on the karma, then exactly what you just your question like this. So what mean makes sense? We say aspiration prayer and dedication prayer. But that's our motivation, but others must be follow them karma, you know, so there's no way to change by our prayers because they already created karma. But projection karma, karma is, yes, dependent from them, but achieving condition is not only from them, it's dependent for each other. So therefore our prayer is the condition, one condition, aspiration prayer and the dedication prayer and the cultivating, like we're teaching them, we're leading them, we guide to the, in the right way and to stop off the wrong actions. So these come many things they can learn from us. So this is because they have opportunity because their projection karma. And also is today we can have something share them because that's our karma. And between these two is a collective karma and the condition, you know, the achieving the conditions. So therefore is the red condition arising and the red karma first result giving. Karma is meant is not only one like one one point. Karma is not only one point, not only one bull. It's hundreds, thousands. It's a mixture. We have different 
credit already positive karma, negative karma, uh, so many different in the sense day and night and born from in the samsara and not only this life. So therefore each, each time the uh, credit, the karma, the imprint could be stored on the steam of our mind. The habitual, the basic tendencies of the karma is controlled all the steam of your mind. So therefore like in the farmer and the was in the fields planted so many various different kind of seed barley seed like as the so many so many sesame seed so many so many but which seedling first the uh, the seedling the uh, seed germinating which which kind which kind of seedling is depend on the condition which one is first completed the needed conditions and then these seedlings first coming Similarly, karma already we created positive karma, mixture karma or negative karma, so many hundreds of various different kind already the imprint stored your heart, but which seed is first coming seedling is depend on which condition. So therefore, now is when we're going to cultivating on the positive condition from yourself and from the others like dedication prayer and the collective karma and some of the conditions as a good conditions and then the good result first happens from the positive karma that's the one thing but unfortunately if the collection the was the condition is a negative unfavorable conditions more strong and then is it the negative karma first giving result and the positive karma, even there, seed is there, but the seedling is not because the condition is negative. Make sense? So therefore, it's important we need to share our compassion and loving kindness, dedication and aspiration prayer to them. But even though, and sometimes you feel is okay, that's their karma. We cannot change their karma, but still is directly you can feel, but indirectly, sooner or later, very much we can support to them. Like for example, we give just an according to Buddhist point of view, like Shakyamuni Buddha. Directly, he already enlightenment Buddhahood completely, enlightenment achievement. But and directly, this benefit enlightenment is not himself because for us benefit, they can support to us. For example, Buddha already passed away two thousand six hundred years ago, but still. His function, the activity, benefit other beings, still is like today we're talking this compassion, love, kind of more deeply. That also some like comes, the influence from Buddha's was motivation. Because that not, doesn't mean that after Buddha enlightenment, but since he three numberless eons big, begin the before when he cultivated more mind of enlightenment, compassion, love, that times his aspiration prayer may wish all sentient beings be happy in your may wish directly or indirectly to benefit all sentient beings that is his motivation very beginning very was he ordinary person so therefore even after three numberless eons he completely enlightened buddhahood but his activity continuously going to benefit directly or indirectly that means is like this karma is you know sometimes is an individual karma must be experienced by himself or herself but its influence is dependent with the others' karma, the others' aspiration prayer. So therefore, is we can uh, help help them. But how much is a strong as our help is does it depend our karma and depend their karma also. The influence, but still better you know, than nothing do. Sure, hundred percent. And especially if someone, if you agreement yourself want to enlightenment your mind, your mind you want to be free from of the negative emotions and achievement or positive emotion or the realization true nature enlightenment, then we have to need to like focus on this motivation. That means is you have very strong power to collection merits and collection wisdom because your motivation very pure. On top and your wisdom, I mentioned you the last compassion, the third one today, is the without observation of the sentient beings. This kind of motivation uh, born from the view, perfect view, wisdom, and that means is your compassion not alone, and your wisdom not alone with the union of compassion and wisdom. That means is two collection merits from compassion, 
collection wisdom from the wisdom emptiness recognition together and quickly you can enlightenment your mind Qu completely as quickly freedom from the faults of samsara and the suffering of samsara if your sub can enlightenment very soon that means is then you could can do benefit so many other sentient beings better your activity of peaceful wrathful and the increasing of the powerful activities spontaneously and automatically and effortlessly because you have already achievement completely enlightenment means is without any obstacles that times you have more more powerful you know to benefit sentient beings so one day i mean so one day why you can have like this powerful because today we're starting right now talking about this thinking about this cultivating mind enlightenment like this generation bodhicitta like that that means is directly not much looks benefit other but indirectly is that lots benefit to ascending beings you know coming so therefore is that is very much is functioning does it make sense yes like that so anybody if you have any other questions please are raising your hand if anyone if you have any questions yes Uh, yes, karma, of course. Actually, um, like negative karma, for example, karma can be positive karma, negative karma, unmovable karma, so many different, but example, like negative karma. When completely we com the created the karma, already neg one negative karma, then the result is suffering, actually. But the, now the question is it necessarily will be 100% sure experiencing the suffering of a negative karma? No, it's unnecessary. Because we say karma whose fruits will be experienced in this life, that's one possible. If not this life, and the karma whose fruits will be experienced immediate next rebirth, that's the second possible. If not, the third possibility is a karma whose fruits will be experiencing in another circumstance lifetimes. And another means the third, fourth, even kalpas later after. But still, the fourth possibility is karma whose fruits, not certainty, uncertainty will not be experiencing. So that means is because if you can find the antidote, for the negative karma that means can purification if you clean completely cleansed and you will not be experiencing suffering the karma change the negative karma but if positive karma also unfortunately can destroy for example without the dedication without enough pure motivation you are the virtues the merits but and then deeply from your heart are raising angry, very anger, aversion mind towards to the someone, not normal angry, because sometimes people are mistaken. Normal anger does not destroy your previous virtues, it's just simple simple means just in the between friend angry. That's not really angry. That's just just ply, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but as real anger means is like deeply from your heart recognize that as an enemy. Like, so therefore, whenever, if a chance comes, you know, if I can harm, I try. Whenever even comes chance of benefit, I will never benefit this person. So if I can even possible leading into hell, I do. This person, like this kind of, you have very deep, strong, angry, deeply from your heart. Someone, anyone comes, then this negative emotion, very strong. So can destroy your previous positive karma. Without three excellent, without a dedication, not enough. Without a bodhicitta mind, not enough. Was without, uh, sorry, with not good enough the bodhicitta mind, with not good enough the dedication, with not good enough the mot pure motivation, and then even the very good virtue, but can this could can destroy with, with this motivation comes arising this negative emotion arising, you know. 
So this telling us is a karma can change. It's negative karma can purifications. So therefore, if you have like now cultivating, first you need to recognize negative is as negative. So secondly, you have disappointedness mind comes. And the thirdly is promise will never do again like this misdeed karma is after you recognize. And then fourthly is focus on your practice, compassion, loving kindness, wisdom, and the emptiness, illusion, or attitude benefit. And then gradually your mental qualities become more and more and more positive. At the same time, it's simultaneously lesser and lesser and lesser the negative emotion and negative karma. Finally, it can be exhaustion, the karma com completely. That means is you will be attainment, enlightenment, completely enlightenment. So therefore, it's, yes, it's, this can, karma can, uh, yeah, antidote, antidote can. Otherwise, if no antidote, and then karma will not disappear by automatically. This, according to the Buddhist, that says, even text eons, kalpas, the seed of karma is there. The seedling comes and takes the kalpas, but still is, you know, sooner or later, you must be, will be experiencing from negative karma, you will be experiencing suffering. And from positive karma, you will be experiencing of the happiness sooner or later one day. Will not disappear by automatically, by causelessly. No possible. Only is possibilities antidote, purification, and the obstacles and destroy of the positive karma and purifications of negative karma. Then will not be experiencing necessarily. That is only the way. Otherwise, cannot change. Mm. Yes. Yes, but actually, is a, the main method is motivation. Motivation is the fundamental for purification, for collection marriage, for remove obstacles, for going happy, enjoy everything is as very much depend on your the positive motivation. That is the basics, and then motivation is perfect and the red motivation, and then your action is become red, red action, the good action, means positive action is coming. And then positive action is the opposite of contrary of negative action. Therefore, no chance of the negative karma because is you have positive karma. Because positive action is because from deep into the, your, uh, the motivation, positive motivation. So therefore, is, but unfortunately, if motivation is negative, and then is the action is also is creating into the negative. And then is the stop chance comes of the positive action. It's like positive karma. So less chance and the positive karma and more chance of negative karma. So that's why important we need to training all month with the compassion and love or so, so on, you know. So therefore is a, but is a one important thing according to the like Mahayana uh, traditions of, of a Buddhist, we hard to judge to the people's actions say, oh he or she is very negative or he or she is very positive. But appearances, parents, the action, the reflection can say, oh, it's positive, negative, but in fact, positive or negative is a bit, little bit harder to judge for us. Only is if you have very perfect the judgments, you know, perfect, excellent wisdom, maybe can you judge, or you can have clear ones, you know, clear ones, and then you can read others' motivation, you can judge, and then you are Buddhists, Buddhas, or already achievement like you know, yogis, or yoginis, like the uh, yeah something uh, the achievement vidadara. So then is yes, you can judge really exactly who is positive or negative. But we are still our mind is ignorant and then difficult to say positive or negative. The reason why, because the Mahayana practitioners as a motivation is more important than a physical action and the, the verbal action. If your motivation is 100% pure compassion, love, 
without any hesitations by himself or herself, only attitude benefit others. But the, in fact, the action physically and verbally is a negative sometimes can use function to benefit others, negative action. Motivation is positive, but action is negative. So this is, we said, the reflection of negative, but in fact is positive. So therefore, ordinary can mistake. Oh, that's bad. You see, we can say, look what he or she doing, but we don't know he or her motivation and he or her wisdom. We don't know. Only we see direct actions from body and speech, but it can be just negative, the reflection of a negative, but in fact is positive. But not only the opposite also, or we say, oh, he is very nice. Wow, very traditional practitioners or something. Well, look, his actions from body speech, but still maybe true, maybe not, because he or her motivation, maybe with the self cherishing, self grasping, self attachment, and this action is for fame or for maybe is a, uh, uh, the um, uh, self cherishing himself or something is just cheating to other people, showing nice person, but uh, that is not the real motivation, you know. And then is uh, this can also mistake for us. Oh, it looks like very nice, but in fact is that is a, just a reflection of the virtue, but in fact is a negative. The Mahayana, so. Therefore, its motivation is always very important. So we try to train our mind. Of course, traditional is very important motivation, but even just non-traditional, normal, regular, were still very important motivation. This we don't need so much talk, because you check yourself when you have comfortable motivation means uh, good motivation. That time you have courage, high courage, self-confident, self-courage because your motivation is, motivation is pure. Even something is going wrong, but still you have not much disappointed, not much regret because it was your motivation, motivation is pure. The opposite, if a wrong motivation, always low confidence, low courage, if motivation is something you know, not good. Even sometimes successfully is work, was, but still you feel not very comfortable because that is not your motivation. Make sense? So therefore, even as non-traditional, still very important, of course, as motivation. Pure motivation is bring the peace, happiness, enjoyment for you and your people. The, the wrong motivation is will be bring the, uh, the sufferings and the unpleasant feeling and the disturbs, disturbing to you and your family or so on. So therefore, is rather I mentioned you already early began say no matter you are practitioners, non-practitioners. Traditional, non-traditional, Buddhist numbers, no matter what we need, you know, train your mind on the compassion and love, the, because that is the only the way, the root of happiness, enjoyment, and the peace for everyone. If you totally lack compassion and com the uh, loving kindness, and there's no hope, peace. Even of course, forget the world peace, but even family peace. No, no possible totally lack compassion, love each other, and how can make peace family? No, 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 no possible. So therefore, a sense of family peace, even forget family by yourself peace, is from love and compassion motivation. Start arresting, and then family peace, and mention you, and neighbor, and village, town, world peace is possible. Even though sometimes say, okay, but I love, I agreement this peaceful, compassion, love and kindness, motivation, but even I do on this practice, but they doesn't care me, you know. So, but still, if it is true, that's true, sometimes it happened, you know, or the opposite result comes from them. But as I mentioned you, still, is you feel, is you know, no despondent, no regretment, you know. You feel, okay, my responsibility is, I did, you know, with compassion and love. But unfortunately, they lack the knowledge and lack this compassion, wisdom, and mystic karma. So may wish one day they can get the point of understanding comes. So that means is you have still as a comfortable feeling, even you know that is why Buddha and Buddhist have never enemy. That's the reason. His Holiness Dalai Lama have no enemy. He over oftenly talking said like Chinese, 
you know, so they controlled over the Tibetan and the, all that. But it's still, he live in the in exile outside. His palace is in there, but still, is a, he not never angry to the. He oftenly talk, you know. Really, that's not just mouthing word. The deeply his heart. He not only not angry, but he more compassion to them, you know, because more ignorant there, you know. That's why he more strong. That's the Buddha's Buddha suffers real the motivation. Someone more poor, more wrong, more ignorant, and then more love, more compassion. Buddha no need compassion to each other, right? Buddha, Buddha and Buddha suffer no need compassion to each other. Because they are already free from the ignorant, already from the full the compassion and wisdom. They no need to support each other, right? Both are understand clearly. So no wrong, nothing wrong. So therefore no need compassion, love. Buddha to Buddha, no need. Make sense? But who is more poor, more worse, more stupid, more ignorant, need more love? more compassion, more generate your car. So that's why such achievement of Buddhism was really, really that deeply from heart. You know, so the poor beings are more love, more compassion. That's a, one an example. You know, so therefore it's, it's motivation is very, very important. Especially when it comes to the death. Maybe you don't like to listen to death, but a, whether you like or not, is a, a coming sooner or later. So therefore, when it comes to death, that times if you can cultivate in your mind the motivation on the compassion, love, if you can focus, I'm sure you have more relaxed, you know, it's more peace your mind peacefully can pass away. That doesn't mean it's only just peacefully you pass away, but that means the projection and the achieving conditions on positive, so achieve the result and the projected result, immediate next rebirth is at least, even not enlightenment, but reborn, higher fortune. And next rebirth and fortune life comes for you because of the projection and achieving conditions, positive and dream. But the opposite, unfortunately, very angrily, with a very jealousy and disappointedness, mind or attachment, it pass away, unfortunately. N not only more fear and more panics the death, but uh, immediate next rebirth, linking into the of the wrong in the rebirth future. So therefore, it's a sense now until of death is a very important to cultivating on the positive emotion. That's very very important. If your business, you know, also, also motivation very important. If you are good wisdom and good motivation and i'm sure i can guarantee you are good business you know you can make more money okay but that's more comfortable for you if opposite if cheating wrong motivation sometimes still is accidentally can be rich but not comfortable deeply from your heart is very painful Materiality, external, physically, it looks like you are like, you know, the rich. But mentally, you yourself, even no one knows you have us missed it, but you know yourself only. So therefore, you feel very uncomfortable. No peace inside. So therefore, is the motivation is for everyone very important, really important. In fact, sometimes it even happened the problem, but the motivation pure. You have not a very degree and no regret and no disappointed mind. Is it time? Is it one? Is it? Okay. Oh, no, sorry. oh you say eight thirty, not seven thirty. Oh, okay. So we're going to. I just mistake. Oh, sorry. So I'm just short, short dedicate quickly. You just relax it on we because we're going to dedication this these virtues. I believe today we collected merits together. So these merits we dedicate to all sentient beings. Sonam de Tamche Zibany Tomni Nibi Dana Panjan Chirgan Anji Parmon Tuba 
Se bin tolin do ador jo in de da do son de wa ye gerta chenye samba manjur semje thamche la sanje dobi jungo en jampar pawo chadar chemba na kundu sambo te ade te da gunje jis da lo che ge wa de da Tamche rabdu ngo tu sa shambi jawa tamche ji ngo wa kong la ncho te ngamba Da ke ke ve sa wa ndi kun cha sang po shu shi Rabdu ngo var ji a kun sa ndu ji nchang che man che ni chen che sa ve lama yen shi Dwa ve dhun de mo lo e kong te pa te da tamche da jen de pa shu shi wa e kun de yang da la ma dan jan me shu yi pi la yan long shu jan sa da lam ji yon de rab zo du jen chang ge kong ba nir to shu Okay, so that's all. Thank you very much. So, 15 minutes late, right? I'm sorry, <laughs> but my motivation is not bad. <laughs>